Yeah, greetings everyone. I welcome everyone to today's webinar. Um, today's webinar is anchored by Crypto Queen Academy and Digital World Academy. And also with the support of some of our amazing leaders, I may not be able to mention their name, but I'm going to mention just two person and others, I don't know their name. Um, we have Newton, Mr. Newton and Mr. Emmanuel who will be anchoring this and they've been amazing and many wonderful leaders. I personally don't know their, um, person, their names, but they, they, they have been amazing leaders that has been supporting the academy. I want to appreciate every one of you. And tonight, I want to welcome both our new members and our old members in today's webinar. And I want to believe that the purpose to which we are in this call um, will be fulfilled this night. So we have um, a very, very important topic to be handled this night. And like I mentioned, Mr. Emmanuel and Newton will be taking us on this topic. So I would like us to pay pay attention to this topic because, uh, like I like we know, it's not every one of us that are familiar with trading with um, trading view. We are more familiar with Binance because that's where we always find ourselves every day. So I want us to appreciate these leaders and pay attention. If you have any question, please, um, you might need to hold on till the end. I wouldn't want us to distract or inter um, distract them in the middle of the class. So uh, without wasting much of our time, I want to officially welcome Mr. Newton to this class. Our new members, like I said, we welcome you. Um, we don't have much time. We're expected to spend maximum two hours if i would also appreciate if we don't spend up to two hours but maximum two hours from now so mr newton uh the i don't know how many minutes i will give you but please i would like you to um straight to the point and walk us through all that we need to know before uh, emmanuel will take over thank you very much and welcome you once again to this webinar So please, you can unmute yourself. Oh, all right, thank you. All right, um, thank you everybody for the, for the privilege and the honor for me to be here to walk you on this journey. And please, uh, before I start anything, I would like you to get rid of any distractions and perhaps if it's possible for you to get your writing right materials so you can join up as we go through. Now, I want you to know that this section is very important um, because we are propelling into technical analysis proper. And we all know that technical analysis is just you being able to interrupt, interpret what you see on the chart and then make good use of it. So the, the, the hub or the, uh, the channel we'll be using to do all this is via TradingView. TradingView is um, the most popular, in fact, the most useful uh, tool that you can actually leverage on if you want to be very, very successful in the crypto and forex industry. So if you permit me to uh, share my screen so I can show you how you can make proper and detailed use of this tool. Sorry, I would like to share my screen. Okay, so um, a minute, sorry. Okay, so now we have two ways in which you can actually use, you can actually make proper use of this appearing view. Uh, the first is the web version, which has to do with you. Um, you sorry let me just get this out of my screen okay which has to do, which has to do with you using your laptop so for those of us who have a laptop i would say that's an added advantage okay that's an added advantage but if you don't have a laptop whatever it is i'm doing on my laptop tonight is the same thing you would get to see on your mobile app this version of trading view comes into it comes on a web browser like this version then we have a mobile <clears throat> a mobile mobile version as well okay so please pay attention and see 
how I walk you through. So the first thing you want to do is, the first thing you want to do is go on your web browser and then type trading view. Okay, try to trade in view. Sorry. Let it load. Okay. All right, so let's do this. Is, this, this is it here, this first one. Let it load. All right. Okay, so this is what the interface looks like. And we have we have the free version and the paid version. Okay, for now you can actually make use of uh, the free version. We have some tools available. At least to some extent you're, you're able to chat on this uh, uh, free version. But if later on you you improve with your trading skills and you really want to go proper into trading, you need to at least subscribe to, even if it's the minimum uh, package. So you can have access to some, to some um, privilege, which I'll be showing you. So when you come on trading view, the first thing, so the first thing you want to do is you want to navigate to where you have the chart because that is where we want to, uh, our area of focus. So you come to this product here. Let me use my annotation, sorry. You come to this product here, here, and you click on it. Okay, see, you click on it, then you see chart, and you click on chart, and you allow it to load. Sorry about that, my network is a little bit slow tonight, but regardless, we'll get through. All right, so this is what trading view looks like. And this is where all traders, profitable traders, non-profitable traders, every traders in the world do the magic. This is where they come. I'm sure to the majority of us here, we are not new to this charting. Uh, two box but this is what it looks like so the first thing you want to do as a trader when you come on trading view is navigate and see where all of the tools you'll be needing to you know make a proper charting on this platform so the first thing you want to do is first you want to select the coin okay you want to select the coin or the asset you're interested in you know so the first place you need to come up, you need to come up to this pan here. See where I mark this? Okay, let me use a red color annotation so you guys can see very well. I'll be very, very slow because this is very important. What is very important is you getting the information, not me trying to meet up with time. If we can't finish all of this tonight, we, we extend it to the next class. But it's very important you pay attention and just try and catch up with it because this, this is going to be very, very detailed. We have a lot to do. You know, I have a lot to show you and how to properly use this. So I'm trying to change. Okay, yeah. Okay. So this is this is where you come. Okay. This is where you come. You click on this. Just click on on this on BTC USDT. So this is where you have all of the assets, all of the assets. Okay. Everything that is traded. Any 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 everything that includes trading. This is where you, you see them. So you can now see. All of them are stated here. We have stocks, futures, forex, crypto, indices, bonds, and economy. Okay. So for tonight, we are interested in crypto. So what, what I do, what I do, what you do is you just come here, you select crypto. Okay. You come here and select crypto. So sometimes take note of this. Take note of this place here. Look at it. See where I'm marked here. Also. So what you can do is just come here. Okay, and click on Binance because Binance is where majority of us, you know, trade, uh, do all of our trading activities from. Okay, well, with the platform where we go and launch um, our trades from. So you just come here and just click on, on Binance. Okay, let's all of the source 
let it be from Binance. So easy access, okay? And then you can come here and type, you come here, type the coin you want. In this case, we'll be using uh, BTC USDT as our case study, BTC USDT, okay? All right, so now I want to, I want to click on BTC USDT perpetual, okay, features. BTC USDT perpetual features, okay? So I just do that. This is number three here. Just click on it and now, and now you know, so boom, we have this. We have this charting, okay? So this is what, this is what BTC chart looks like currently. Okay, this is what BTC chart looks like currently. Is anybody doing on the, okay, so this is what BTC USDT chart looks like currently. Okay, now, when you come on, when you come on this platform to, to select the assets you actually want to analyze because, okay, whatever it's done here is referred to as um, technical activities. So the first thing you want to bear in mind is you want to look at the time frame. Okay, you want to look at the time frame. Okay, and this is where you have your time frame. This is where you have your time frame. Okay, we have one minute, five minutes, fifteen minutes, thirty minutes for the five, one hour, two hour, three hour, four hour. Then we have the weekly and we have one, and then we have the day, the daily time frame. Okay, so depending on what time frame. Okay, now this is just to introduce you to what trading looks like. By the time we begin to go deep into technical analysis, I will break all of these things down. Okay, it to begin to make sense to you. By the time we begin to go deeper, so just bear in mind that I, I'm just introducing you to the interface we'll be using. So I might I will not be going into details, into very very details of all of this explanation. I'll just tell you what they stand for, and then when we now start uh, technical analysis proper, then I'll now begin to break it down the bit by bit. Then understanding will now begin to you know, come up. So this is where you have the time frames, okay? And time frame means the particular time, okay, that you're looking the, the particular time that you are actually looking at the chart. Okay, it could be you, you're interested in looking at the one hour time frame. One hour means that every, you want to know what is going on on the chart every one hour. Okay, so this is where you come to select your time frames. Okay, very important. Don't worry, by the time we dive deeper, you, you get you tend to understand. And now the next part I want to take you to is the tool, the tool that we'll be using. So look at this left panel here. This left panel here. This is where you have all the tools listed here. All the tools. Sometimes you see. Maybe you've seen a lot of charts. You've seen you see so many different lines. You see some lines, some you, you see so many things on that chart. Okay, this is where they all come from. And so I'll be taking you through all the tools. Now the first, the first important um, tools you want to look because now listen, we have a lot of tools on this platform. We have a lot of tools on the platform, but I will be I will, I will just introduce you to the few tools and the most essential tools that you can't do without. Every other two are not useful to me, okay? Because as a trader, you want to keep your chart as you know, very, very neat and very simple. You don't need to do a lot of complicated things so you don't get confused. Just do something very neat, very straightforward, and then, you know, and then get through. So now the first thing is you can see, you can see my arrows. You see what my arrows are doing? You have, you, have, you have a pan, look at the pan button here where you click on and then a lot of tools comes out from okay and the same thing here the same thing here and here and here so this first two here okay all we're interested in here is we're interested in this trend line okay trend line is used to draw support and resistance so those are the long lines you see let me select one you see all those long lines you see on the chart but can you see what i'm doing now you know so this is what a trend line looks like so this is what you use to connect two points together on a chart. Okay, you use this line to connect two points on the chart. So you need a trend line, number one, two. You also need an arrow for indications. Okay, if you want to indicate, you want to say from this point to this point. Let me see. Like for instance, now you want to say price will move from this from where the current from this current place to this place, or you want to say to this place. You know, arrow is just for you to indicate so that anyone looking at your chart will understand what you are trying to communicate. Do you understand? Now, the next thing you want to look at is, you want to look at, um, 
horizontal horizontal line. This horizontal line is what you use to draw flat support and resistance. You see this line. Okay, you can have as many as many of it on the chart. This is what you use to do what to draw support, your support and your resistance. Very, very important. So these tools I'm introducing you to are the very important tools you would need. You don't need you don't need so much tools. And then on this part, I think we also need to use yes, we also need to use parallel channel. Parallel channel, okay. Parallel channel simply means that if you want to draw two lines at the same time, instead of you coming to pick up your trend lines, you draw trend line up, you draw trend line at the bottom. You can use spiral lines to what to do to draw those lines at the same time. Look, look, see, just watch my screen and see what I do. You pick a point from here, okay. You just pick a point from here, you drag it here, and then you move it up. Okay, this is what a parallel line looks like, okay. Essential tool, very, very important tool, key tool to use as a pro trader that you guys are becoming. Okay, now so we we'll move on to the next, move on to the next one. All right, so we we'll move on to this next place. We we'll come here now on this next place. Okay, we're done with this first one. We we'll move on to the next one here. All right, now here, the only two tools you need here is just your Fibonacci retracement tool. And your trade fee extension. These are the two. These all these other ones are actually wonderful too, but these are just the two basic and major um that the, the two and major tools that you need as a pro trader that you're telling you're becoming. Now, before I go over to these other tools, there's something I want to bring your attention to that will make this explanation very easy and very straightforward. Now, you observe that every time I want to pick a tool, I need to come here. Okay, I need to come here. So to avoid that. Okay, because as a trader, you want to look for every opportunity that will just make the work easy for you, very, very easy for you on the chart. So, what I do instead of coming here to come and pick look for trend line every time I pick trend line, I want to draw trend line instead of coming back again to come and pick this one. No, 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 no. What I just need to do is watch what I do now. Every time, just the first time I would come here, you would come here to select your two, okay, and you want to select this trend line. Now, look at the right hand side here, you would notice. A star. This star means favorite. You can actually favorite your two. Okay. And once you favorite them, it appears on the screen. Okay. It appears on the screen. Look at it here. Look at it here. Let me just draw it. Look at it. It appears on the screen. So let's go and favorite all the tools that we need from this first pan. We need this arrow. Um, we need this horizontal. I will also need this horizontal rail. I'll tell you what, what you can use it to do later. We we need this parallel channel. You see, so as you select them, they appear on your screen. So instead of you coming here, you just come and just and just tap, up, you know, and just draw, you just tap up and just draw, you know, and just tap and just you just draw. Okay, all right. So, all right. So now let's go over to the next part and see what will be useful. Remember, I said we only need fee retracement and trade base trade uh, base fee extension. All of these tools I'll be explaining as we progress with our class, okay? I'm just introducing you. And so by the time I begin to use this tool, you will not, this interface will not be new to you, you get? Okay, so now the next part we want to go over to is, yeah, this part. So we're needing a triangle, a rectangle, sorry, is already highlighted. And what more do we need? Okay, we need a path. And what do we need? Sometimes, Maybe um, you want to explain or you want to highlight something. You might just want to use an highlighter or brush, but it's not really not essential. So we're not going there. And this circle, of course, circle is also a very important key too. So, okay, then we'll come here. We would also need a text because by the time you actually draft your chart, you might want to tag some places, you know, you might want to tag, explain what you're expecting at a particular region. So you can actually type your chart and then place it anywhere. So it's so it's very, very essential that we have this text. Text gives you the um, ability to be able to do that. You get, and also this anchor text. You can anchor, you can just bring this anchor text, place it anywhere, explain what's going on there. You know, place another icon text, explain what's going on here. So that would give a detailed explanation of your chart to anyone who is looking at it without even you having to explain anything. You know, it's just straightforward. So at your time, you can come here and just navigate and see what other tools are right here. Well, I've just highlighted um, the most important tools that you'll be needing. You don't need too many tools. 
So you, it doesn't get complicated. So let's go over again. I think the last two we'll be needing will be, uh -huh. we'll be needing this two long position. This two helps you calculate your stop loss, where to place, where, to, where your entry price would be, where your stop loss should be, and the potential profit you're looking to, you know, to get from the market. So we align the shorts, the long, and okay, yes, we also align the date range and what's the price range. So these are all of the things you will be needing. So these other ones, this ruler and um, zoom, of course, you'll be needing them, but you cannot favorite these two from here, from here to this space. So these are things occasionally you just come to click on. I'll be explaining what they stand for. Now, let's come here. So what does this uh, ruler stand for? Now, before then, these other two here are just icons, okay? These icons, you can actually use them to represent anything, okay? Maybe like you just want to communicate without saying anything. You can just come here and pick up any of these icons and just place them anywhere. Let's like, for instance, I can play this, this love here, you see? Okay, so they are not something you would always want to you know work with. Okay, but anytime you need to use them, or perhaps you want to point at just okay, something you want to point at at this bottom when price gets to this bottom here, price is going to react. You know, you can use all of these things in okay, but they are not too important. So uh we might not really be talking about them, maybe we we'll just use them occasionally. Now, this ruler, this ruler is very important. This ruler can actually help you make measure distance. Okay, it can help you measure distance for instance btc moved from this point okay let, let's let's just use our horizontal okay I'll, okay i pick my horizontal for me and i mark this region okay so i want so this is the low the lowest btc you know actually got to so from this lowest point here to the current position you want to know how many percent okay btc has done you get you want to know how many percent BTC has done you can just come here pick this your ruler then place your cursor here at this bottom where BTC was, you know, like just place it on this line and just drag it up. Maybe like to the top, to this high. Look at this high, this high point, you know, BTC go to. Just drag it to this high point here. You see? Oh, sorry. I clicked out. So you, you bring it here and just drag it up to this place. You see that BTC, BTC, BTC has done almost. 60 percent in the last 21 days okay so it just helps you measure distance you know between um a particular point and what point price has moved of an asset okay so that's what it, that's what it does it gives you the days and of course for instance if you really want to know the day between these points where price moved up to this place you can actually just go pick the ruler sorry let me just do something pick it okay and just go up, see? Let me just, you mark the last candle, just mark this last candle here. Okay, so BTC did 59.10% in the last, what, 34 days. See, look at this 34D, okay? And it tells you how many bars, what are the bars? That's these candles that you're seeing. If you count them, it gives you exactly 34 bars. That's what it means that, okay, in the last 34 days, 34 bars candles has moved in the up direction and it has produced 59.10%. Okay, that's huge. So that's what that's ruler last time for. And I look at this, um, this icon here represents the zoom in and out. What does it mean? Zoom in and out means that if you want to zoom a particular place, or point on the chart so you can see have a clear view you can just select just you know place your cursor look at my cursor dancing place it where for instance i want to see what's going on around this region this region here so i can just place my cursor here and then drag it you see it becomes look at what it becomes large so it helps me to see what went on here and if i want to you know like undo that i can just come back here you see the minus has highlighted it was only the plus sign that was there before that's zooming now the zoom has highlighted. i just click it once and price comes back to um the normal position and now look at what i'm doing you can actually move your you see what i'm doing i'm dancing with this guy okay so you can just right click left click on your mouse 
Okay, left click on your mouse and hold it, and then you drag it. See, it's just dancing. So this is how you shift, you move your what? You move your chart. Okay, you move your chart around. See how I'm moving my chart around. And if if this is too like this is too large, you want to see, you want to have a very clear view. You can come to this scale. Look at this place. You see where my cursor is dancing. Let me let me mark that place. This this area here, this scale is here. Okay, you can come there. Okay, see, see what's going on. What I did was just put place my cursor here, left click on my mouse, and then do what, and then drag up and down. See how I'm able to adjust what the chart. See, I can have a clear, a clear view, and as well, can I zoom in? Okay, you can scroll on your mouse. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling the bottom, my bottom, my mouse button. Okay, see how I'm scrolling. I'm trying to squeeze the chart so I can have a clearer view of what's going on and see how I squeeze here too. You know, so this is how you move around your chart. So I implore you that after tonight's uh, class, you want to go over this video again and then probably open your own trading view. Okay, you can open your own trading view, sign up with your email and password. It comes to this interview and get to this interface and then practice all of these things because this these are this is what we'll be using to teach you guys henceforth okay all right so let's move on let's move on we have a lot of things we have a lot to do now if you want to look at this next this next but thing this doesn't really serve any purpose I try to use it i don't see how useful it is so i'm skipping it let me use my notation i'm talking about this guy I'm talking about this guy okay but the next guy is very useful this next guy, this other one. So what this does is, what this does is, if say, say for instance now you want to actually mark a lot of positions or a lot of zones on this chart, okay, and you don't want to be going and picking, picking. You want to, you know, like do it very fast. So what you do is you come here, and select the two you want to use. So in this case, we'll be selecting. Uh, our horizontal line. I select it. Then before then, I come here. Okay. Now look at what this. Look at what this is. Look at what the tag says. It's stay in drawing mode, which means that any of these tools that you select, okay, it will replicate. It will stay in that drawing mode. It will stay in that mode and replicate over. What do I mean? You come here, click on it. Once you click on it, now watch what happens. I already select this horizontal line, and I want to mark. mark I want to mark this point. Okay, I don't want to come back here, you know. I don't want to come back here and pick up the tool again. I just want to see what I'm doing. Okay, it gives me it allows you to replicate the line easily. See what I'm doing. Okay, and once you're done, all you need to do is just come here or select it and then click and then come here and then tap this. Okay, tap it and and that's all. It's it's all gone. It's all it's all it's all done. Okay, so this is how you can, you know, all of these tools just help you. You know, easily navigate around charts and just make your work very easy for you. Okay, so when you get used to all of this, it's charting becomes very easy. You just do a fast job quickly, and then you know you you attend to other things. Now look at what happens here. Okay, if for instance you can actually lock a drawing to, I don't find it useful, so there's no point. It it doesn't really make any sense. It just makes it more difficult. So I won't be explaining anything on this. Okay, but I'll be explaining on this next one. So it's so it's saying all right, all right, bro. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. So now I'll be explaining this next one. This is also very important. This guy, watch this guy here. Yeah, very important. All right. So what does that guy do? Now, if for instance you have so many of these, you have so many of these. Uh, your lines you draw your tools. Okay, and you want to hide some of them so you can have a clearer view of what the chart is telling you at that point in time. Let's say I have my trend line drawn. Okay, I have my rectangle, maybe to mark uh, an other block here. So let's say I have so many of these lines here. Okay, so many of them. And uh, okay, I said, okay, I was going to enter a position. Um, let me say, uh, let me say a long position from here. Okay, so you can see that my, my chart is becoming clustered. If you notice, it's becoming clustered. So there are too many lines. Sometimes you can actually derail you. You won't be able to see a clear uh, 
uh, picture of what's happening on the chart. So you it, so you want to hide all of these things that happen on the screen. You can just have a clear a clean chart. You no, know, a clean chart, nothing drawn, just a clean chart. All you just need to do is come here. You click on this arrow. Now, first of all, if you come here and just pop on this on this icon, see everything disappears. Okay, Every, everything disappears. If you tap on it back, everything comes back. But there's there are options there. Look at the options here. Now, the first option says you can hide your drawings. What are you have drawn here? Are your drawings? Let's tap on it. See, it's gone. It's gone. Okay, it's gone. You tap, you tap on it again. It comes back. Okay, it comes back. Now, okay, we'll get to this part. So there's this other part whereby you have your indicators. So, so you don't want to your indicators and your charts. You don't want to. You don't want to, you know, cancel them. You just want them off the chart for a while so you can see, you can have a clearer picture of what is going on. Can you guys hear me? Yes, All please, right. we can hear you, go on. Okay, thank you very much. So let's say you don't want to, maybe like you have two or three indicators on your chart. We'll get to that part where, where I'll be showing you where to get your indicators. So I'll still visit this place, okay? Don't worry, I'll visit, then we'll come back. We'll come back and uh, explain all of this. So, so let's keep this for now. So by the time we had indicators to our chart and some other things, then we'll come back to explain that feature. Now look at this last part. Okay, look at the last part here. Look at this last part here. Now, now that part, that button looks like a delete button, okay? So what does it do? What does it do? Let's let's just select these options. Always look to the side. You always see that arrow. Now it helps. It just gives you the ability to be able to remove some of the things or all of the things you have on your chart. Okay. So let's assume you want to keep your indicators, and you want all of your drawings to disappear. You just click on the move drawings. Okay. Or you want all your all your drawings. You want all. All your drawings to to stay but you don't want your indicators you know you want your indicators gone what what, what you need to do is what you just click on remove indicators so your drawings will be there but your indicators will disappear okay so that will be so don't worry by the time we get to by the time you start to add up indicators they would visit that place again so you can have what you can have a clearer understanding now the last button all right thank you Thank you very much. So now let's look at the last. Let's look at this last button here. Let me let me use an annotation so you can see what I'm talking about. Look at this down part here. Look at this down part here. You have a star button. Now what that simply tells you is that this this guy tells you that um where's your favorite? This is your favorite now. Maybe like it's stopping or distorting your view. Okay. Maybe like you don't like it to be. You don't want it to be here. You want it gone. You can just come here and just tap on it and it disappears. So anytime you need it, you come back and tap on it, it reappears, you see? Okay, so this just makes your work very easy. Maybe you, you want a very, very clear chart. You want everywhere, everywhere clear. You want your head, maybe like you are in a deep red. You're trying to see the next move of what price is trying to do, the next retracement point or where price will turn around. So you don't want any distortion, you don't want any distraction, you want everything gone. You just come here and just tap on it or you just, Come here and tap on this button. Look at where my cursor is. It's on our on this our delete button. Okay, you just tap on it and everything disappears. Okay, everything disappears. Okay, remove all indicators. I it's, it's it's supposed to be severe by clicking. I don't know what's going on, but problem. Just remove all drawings and it's gone. And watch, I need something now. Watch what's going on here. Watch this button here. Okay. This button, this button is called redo button. If you click on it, it brings back the previous actions. Maybe like you mistakenly, you know, tap on these delete buttons or you, or any of the button, and you want to revoke that action. Okay, you want you want to go back to the previous um, page or the previous activities where you are. Just click on this. You see, it comes back. 
Okay, anything you're doing, if whatever it is that you're doing, once you just come here and click on redo, it brings you back to the previous tasks we were on before you accidentally delete something or you, as, you accidentally did something. Okay, so um, yes, so on this on this left panel, I think we're actually done here on this left panel. So this is where your tools are. You have access to all of the tools and everything. Okay, so we'll take note of that. So let us remove all of these drawings on the charts. Let's remove all of this hacking. Okay, so let's delete this and let's delete all of this. Now we are about to having a clean chart. Okay, we're about to having a clean chart. So that's the first part you'll be looking at. Now, let me now take you to other useful, useful, useful part you also need to think of. Now, remember I said each time you need to analyze any coin, you always come to this one here. I mean, okay, remember I said you always come here. But that can also that can as well be overwhelming sometimes, you know. Remember the the aim or the motive is to make everything as simple, you know, as possible, so that you spend less time, limited time on the chart, or you get because the, the less time you spend on the chart and the faster you are, the easier it becomes. You know, you don't become too overwhelmed. It becomes tiring when you spend too much, you know, staring at the screen. And you know, it's brainstorming so activity, so you get tired over time. So what you need to do is you now need to create your watch list. Okay, you need to create your watch list. So how can you do that? Watch list simply means that you want to have list of the assets that you're interested in trading. You know, you want to have, want to have them aligned. You want to have them aligned. Okay, so that you can always and easily you know have access to them. Instead of every time coming to come and you know come here and come and search, come and search. And you want to search a uh, lead coin, you know, you want to search um, CVC, you know, like that, you know. So it's overwhelming. But once you once you can just search them once and have them listed out, then another time that you come up on the chart, you don't have to go and do that. You just come and just do, you know, select them and then do what you're doing. So where do you go? You come over to your to your right panel. Now this first place here, look at where I'm marking on, on this. My right top most. What you do is what you click on it. See, once you click on it, look at what happens. This page opens. Now, by default, okay, by default, you have all of this, but I am not interested in all of this. So I I want to do what? I want to cancel all of them. I want to cancel all of them and then include what I am interested in. You know, you have an empty what? You have an empty space. Okay. You have an empty space. So what you do now is what? You come here, you click on watch list, and then you create a new list. Okay. You create a new list. Oh, okay, okay, okay. My this is expired. So I think I would I would need to have either a pro a pro plus before I can do all of that. But by default, there's space for just one list. So, okay, now this is what you do. You just come here. Okay, you come here. Um, no, this is what you do. You come here, you click on this arrow. Okay, you click on this arrow. Okay. Click on it. It will take you to this page. Remember this page where you have your coin. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to select all of the coins. So, you, is, you just select all of the coins one time, and then you don't have to go and select it again so um remember that you can actually do this twice you can do this for two purposes the first is you know in crypto remember in crypto we have spots and we have um futures spot is when you buy a coin for investment you leave it over time if you appreciate then you sell it back okay and future is where you leverage you leverage leverage trading so when you are doing analysis you'll be doing two analysis so for if you're interested that's if you're interested in spot bagging and future trading but if you're only interested in futures you will select coins you know that has to do with futures uh, with uh, sorry if you're only interested in trading futures you select the perpetual remember we have perpetual and we have a uh, spot okay i'll be explaining so I'll be doing more expansion on perpetual 
when we when we forge ahead, you get to understand. But for now, bear in mind that the common name that is used is feature trading and spot trading. So when you're doing analysis, the analysis you do for the spot is quite different from what you do for futures because there are some slight price changes. So when you're when you're selecting your coins, bear in mind you're selecting your coins for either spot or future or for both. So if you want to select both for both, I'll be showing you how to select for both. So you you know what category you belong to. You can now do that on your own. So if you're let's say I want to select coins that I will look at. Hello guys, please, if you can hear me, please let me know. I just got a, a distraction call. Please let me know. If you can hear me, please let me know. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you guys, thank you guys. All right, so now, Watch what I do now. I'll be selecting watch list for my spot bargain and for my future. Okay. Now you know what you are interested in. Just know how to do this two. Know how to do the two. So whichever if you want to do the two or you want to do one of them, fine. It's up to you. Okay. Now I come here. Now you know BTC. You know what BTC is now? BTC gave birth to all of the coins, tokens, and anything you talk of. You know, so the first thing is I always want to have my BTC chart as well because BTC control the market. So now, mind you, there's a difference between Bitcoin and Tetris. Look at Tetris. That's for spot marking. Okay, I will show you the difference now for spot and then Bitcoin and perpetual. Perpetual means features for perpetual. You know, stands in for future trading. So what I do is I just come. And take note again, remember I've already selected my source. Remember the first time I tried to go, okay, let me just show you. The first time when we came, when I opened this chart, you know, the first thing I did was I came here to this place. You guys remember, yeah, okay. And I clicked on it. When I clicked on this, remember I came here and I said, you need to select it. You select the source, you know, like Binance is the, the most widely used um, exchange. You guys remember now, so I just reminded you now. Okay. So, so by default, it is already selected for us. So now you click on, now you click on what? You click on Bitcoin and, and theater, shares. Yeah, that, okay, that's for spots. Then Bitcoin and what? And and perpetual features that's for future trading now let me now take you down there let me take you let me just show you something before we continue okay. so you observe that when i said when i clicked on those okay let me show you you observe that when i click answer this and this this these are the buttons you're going to be using this plus sign so once you click on it it, it, it changes that's to tell you that you've added that coin to your watch list okay that's to tell you that you've added that coin to your work list. So, so I'm going to click on this guy. You see, it has changed. It has changed to that sign. So, which means that if I come back here, the next thing I'll be doing is cancel. That's if I want to remove it. And this has also changed too. Now, let's go back here. Look at the watch. Look at what we just created here. Now, do you observe that there's a slight difference between this price and this price? Look at my right answer. You guys are seeing my screen, right? You observe there's a slight difference between this and this. So that's to tell you that this just tells you that analysis that you're doing for sports will be quite different from what you'll be doing for features. So if you're if you maybe like your training features, you should always bear in mind that okay, this this is this 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 is for features and this is for sports. The, the reason why all of this is uh, I'll be explaining that in in a, in a course of the study in of our class. Okay, I'm explaining why there's difference between this and this. So I'm going to talk about funding, open interest, and the rest of them. So for now, we're just looking at the intro to trading view. You get so this is how you select your what list. You can go on and on and on. Click on this guy. Select as many coins you know as you trade you know i recommend few coins and not non volatile coins anyway but you know you're, you're going to know your choice of coins or assets you want to trade then you select them so you can always come here for easy 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 navigation 
easy navigation okay and now another thing you can now do is you can actually name you see you can name this your watch list you can name it so you can come here and do that mind you the free version which i am on now won't give you all of these features but let me see let me show you let's see if let's see if it will work now look at this top right here look at this place that i marked okay click on this drop down arrow on the on the right click on it and then click on rename oh see it gives me that so i can just come here and just name that folder name that Aquiles. you know now then another thing you should know is this watch is help, help you categorize your coins okay maybe like on the on the first on the on this first watch list you want to have a defy coins and maybe the next watch list you're creating you want to have set of coins that belongs to the metaverse or and another coins another set of folder because this, this this is more like a folder that houses you know files so these are your coins and files this is the folder so this is like this this guy now okay let me just click save you see it has changed ugly effects okay it has changed now I can now say, okay, inside this folder, I want to have only DeFi coins. Remember, we talk about DeFi when we're talking about um, crypto, um, when we're categorizing crypto. Remember, now let's see if we can actually add in another folder. I don't think they will allow us to that. Well, let's see. Now look at it here. This place says name uh, new layout. Okay, it says new layout. So you click on it oh oh you can't well you can't do that anyway but uh, that will be for maybe like when you subscribe so what that means is it gives you another window where you can actually have a different set of coins on that window and it opens as a tab if you watch if you watch my screen here just watch this my screen here watch here up here you see different tabs open okay on my web browser but so this trading view this feature gives you an opportunity to open a laptop where you have different set of coins okay so it just helps you you know what it does is it helps you navigate you know through them like for instance now let me let me take for instance look at my tab here look at this my tab okay the last tab here is where i have this trading view and then the next tab is if this first tab is position so if i click here now it takes me to another tab another different tab you get and I keep up. So imagine you have trading view, and then you have one, two, three, four, five, six. You have one, then you have like maybe like four tabs open of different, 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 different assets. You've been able to categorize them because you, you, you see, you're able to create, um, you're able to create another layer. But you know that's for it for a paid um, version. Okay, you can do that for a paid version. So if I start with that. Please let me just quickly drink water. Sorry about that. Okay. So if peradventure you're you're able to get a paid version, then this feature can actually help you. It's help you know make your work simple and your task seems to be very, very, very easy. So let's we've done we're done with that. Now coming back here, we're not done with this with this part here. Coming back here, coming back to this place. Okay. Now you are Observe that here, look at this button. You can actually come here and search. You can click on search, okay? And then you try to search um, a, a previous tool. I don't find that useful, okay? So the thing is, whatever I don't find useful, I don't think you need to stress yourself about that. I just want to, I'm just trying to go straight to the things you need, the basic, basic, and if I'm not basic, the major things you need to know, you know, that would help you you know help your journey very very fast here so we don't need this we don't need to be searching tools where you know you where you know where you can actually get uh, the tool from so let's look at the next button you see settings there okay this place there says chat settings so you want to click on it now this is where you do all your customization okay this is where you do all your customizations now let me walk you through you know like on look at look at this just look at look at the chart here look at the candlesticks you have them in different colors, have you? You have green and then you have red candles. You have the blue and the bear candles, right? 
So you can actually customize everything on this display, you know, to, to suit your taste. You know, like me now, I like my candles to be in red and black. I don't want this, this usual red, red and green. And how do I do that? You can actually do that via what your chat settings. I'll take you through now. Now, watch, watch again, look at, look deeper. You will see this line. Are you seeing some lines, like some box there? If you can see those box, those lines, that looks, all those white lines in the background, type yes, yes, yes. If you can see those lines, type yes, 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 yes in the chat box. Look deeper. Yes, yes, yes in the chat box. Let me see. Nice one. Nice one. All right. So now, you know, for me, I don't like those lines. I like my chat to be plain, but some people really like to like. So it all depends on what you want to be customizing. Okay. It depends on your taste. You might have a different taste and I have a different taste from, okay. Your taste might be different from, from mine. Okay. So what you do is just come here. Two ways you can do this. You can either come here and come in. Let me show you. You can either come here. Sorry. You can either click on this button, okay? That's the chat setting button. Or you can right click on anywhere on the screen, anywhere. You can right click, okay? And this option comes out for me. Let me, let me just, I'm coming, sorry. You can see, look at the settings there. Look at this down button, settings. Or you can double click on the chat. Just double click on the chat. You see? And the setting comes up. Now we have the settings here. Now look at it here. So the first place you want to come to. Um, sorry, my listen is hiding now. Let me, okay, yeah, it's here now. Now the first place you want to come to, you want to look at this symbol, okay? So this is where you come to do your customization for your candles, okay? So now look at the body. This is the body of your candle body. Can you see? Once I click on body, watch, just watch this chart. The color of the body disappears. So if you click on your body, so you can actually change the colors of your body. Like for instance, you know, I said, I like my own green candle this green candle which is a blue candle to be white okay and i want my i want the red candle for me to be black okay now i need to change the borders so that i can i don't get confused the borders are the now this this space the lines around so what you do is see i'm trying to i'm trying to enlarge this guy so you guys see what i'm doing now look at the borders the borders are the words are the lines this body these lines around okay so i can come here and change it to white so i have a uniformity and then change this other one to what to black you see it's making sense now we need to change the week remember the week the high and low of the candle then i want to change this week here to white so i can have a complete and this red one to what to black you see so i have a complete red and black now Okay, now look at those lines, those lines in the background. I really don't want them. I don't want those lines in the background. So what I what I do is I'll just come to what? I'll come to appearance. Okay, look at the appearance here. Come to appearance, that's it here. Okay. I'll come to appearance. And then first of all, I'll come to, look at these vertical green lines. I click on it. I turn them to, black so it fades see because the reason why i chose black is because i'm trying to blend with my background color but let's say my background color eh? let's say my brand my this my background this background is um, white okay let's say this background is white okay okay and these vertical lines then they were actually um Sorry. Okay, this one. I'm coming. Horizontal line. Okay, see those lines, you see they are back now. So I need to I need to look for color that will blend in into this background color. Did you get it? I need to look for color that will blend in. So 
Now, let's say my background is white. So what I need to do is, since I don't want all these lines, I'll just come here. Okay, come to that vertical line. Then I will select white so that it will blind. See, once I select white, the first line is disappeared. Then I come to horizontal. Look at the horizontal. This horizontal line. I also see. You see, now I have a clear chart. See, I have a white, you know, chart. Okay, I have a white chart. Now, one thing I want you to do is, as you're doing all of this customization, you can go through all of this, you know, tweak it to however you want it. Okay, but take just pay attention to something. Pay attention to this last part here, to this place, this template here. This is where you set, you will save all the settings you did here. Okay, you can come here and then you say apply, or you say either you say apply as default. If you apply it as default, it will apply to all of the charts. Okay, all of the chart that you open, or you say save as. Once it's save as, I can just say black and white. Say black and white. Okay. If I say black and white, so next time, if I open another chart and I want this customization, instead of me coming to come and start going through, um, uh, you know, selecting colors, doing this, I'll just come here. I'll just, I'll just choose black and white. Now, okay, now let me now select another chart. Let me select another coin. So you see what I'm talking about. So let me come here and then select this other guy. Okay. Now, the reason why this is selecting is because we are still we are on the same page. Supposing this um, um, this um, layout, supposing we have a paid version and this new layout, we're able to activate it, and I go over to the next page, it is going to give me another different interface from this. Okay. So that is when I can now use I can now use the template. Okay. I can now use this template. Remember this template here. But because we are on the same page, because we're on the same page here, it will still, it will, it will highlight, it will give me the same, um, the background, the previous background will not change. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, maybe one of these days I would subscribe. Once I subscribe, maybe previously I'll see, I'll revisit it. But this is not too important. Okay. It's actually not too important. So let me just change all of this back to um, default. Okay, let me change all this back so we can have it. So I, I just showed I just showed you how to customize the interface. Okay, your interface you can do a lot of customization there. Now look at just look at this. Observe this. Observe this. This is where you can actually come and do what if you want a, a more clear and bigger. Okay, you click on it and then you have a zoom view. See, you don't have any pan, you don't have anything, you just have a zoom view. Okay. And if you want that, if you want to go back, either you press escape button on your keyboard or you just shift your cursor to this upper side. You see this button, this cancel button comes up, pops up. See, and you click on it. And then you have this page back. Okay. You have this page back. All right. Now, the next thing you're looking at is what this button beside it, this camera button, and what does it do for you? This just help you either share your chat. Maybe you've done, you've done some analysis, okay? You, you did some analysis, all right? And you want to share that analysis with your friend. You want to share it with your friend, okay? Now, what you need, just come here, just click on that camera icon. Now look at the varieties of options that we have here. We have save chart image, okay? This save chart image allows you to save your charts to your system folder, okay? It allows you to save your chart to your system folder. And then we have what, copy chart image. Now you can copy this chart image and then paste it to anybody you want to paste it to, like maybe you're going to your friend on WhatsApp, on Facebook, any of the channel, anywhere, you can just paste it there, you know, or you can as well copy the link, copy this link, and send it as a link. Once your friend you know, taps on the link, it opens trading view automatically and then brings up this chart, you know, on this chatting background for him. You get it. So 
you just, you just make it easy and you can as well what open this image this thing you can have, you open it in another tab if i click on it and see it goes to another tab on my web browser and then load the image for me see it's loading the image now can you see okay it's, it's just going to load the image for me on another tab all right okay and then you can as well tweet that image on your twitter so that's a twitter button if you have uh, a twitter handle you can as well go and tweet that on your twitter okay now the last button here says publish publish means that you want to share your idea for instance now we have a lot of a lot of traders millions of traders using this trading view platform and you want to share your opinion your observation in market with other traders okay you can click on publish once you click on publish you see look at this it's tell you publish your idea once you click on that then the page opens and it gives you it gives you a pan it's going to open now see so first of all you want to give your um your idea title you know just give a description and then give a detailed explanation of what you're talking about and then you come here you make it public and then you press your button okay once you agree to all of this and then you, you say you click on look at this down part here look at this end place here you say publish public idea so from here now you see a lot of traders will see your analysis will see your detailed explanation of what you wrote here and then the ones that want to reply can actually want can reply you and that's how you get to share ideas on this platform so this just makes your your trading journey very 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 easy all right so that's 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 on that part we have a lot to we have a lot discussing tonight so it's just going to be introducing you to this this part somebody said this is not audible do you mean you can't hear me can you guys hear me we can hear you loud and clear the person should check his or her volume yes okay are these available on free version somebody said yes this is available on free version no we're actually dealing with free version tonight we've not even this is the free version so all of this all of this i'm doing is on a free version all everything i'm doing here is on a free version all right so let's let's move ahead there's no time let's move ahead we have a lot to do so before we come and cover all of these other functions here which i found useful i want you to take note of something look at this look at this part here coming look at this topmost part here this place is also very 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 important okay this is very very important all right now what happens there okay this first part here this is where you have your candles your candlestick icon okay so we have all that candles icon represent you know icons that is that that is actually useful and if you want them if you actually want them highlighted or you are want them selected so that you can always have easy access to them so what you do is you just come here click on this candle okay it gives you varieties okay like for instance now me i, I use this line this line and i also use this ekinashi okay candles okay so you can go through at your own time to see how this appeals to you then how you can actually use it during the course of um by the time i begin to explain all these things you will now know which one appeals to you for instance if i click on this line now this look at the line changes so this line helps me have a very clear view of what the market is it gives me clear view of what the market is you understand and then this other candle gives me um this ikinashi candle is more like a different kind of candle okay it's different from the normal conventional candle that we all know okay so we will be using okay thank you we'll be using all of this uh, in the course of our study okay it's just to show you how these things work and now you can actually you know select them so the next part is the indicators so this is where you come to select your indicators okay this part is where you come to select your indicators okay this is where you come to select your indicators now so what you do is what click on indicators Now, and the list of all hundreds of indicators comes out. Of course, 
you would have in mind what indicators you would want to okay of course you know you would want to you know you have in mind what indicators you want to you understand so now what you do is you come here and you know just type it in github one so let's just use the normal popular indicators that we all know we have the rsi so it was really strange index look at it here uh, we also have what um, we also have the MACD. moving average conversion divisions okay then we have um okay let's rsi let's select rsi just click on it then let's select MACD. okay we click on it so let's let's one more uh, which other one is popular which other one is popular um moving average okay yeah moving average let's select moving average okay uh, moving average convenient divergence moving average exponential yeah now you see we have three indi indicators we've just selected on our screen you see but look at the stress i have to go to hmm? look at the stress i have to go to in typing so now what i want to show you guys is you can actually have all of these indicator grouped in one place you understand so that every time you need to assess them maybe they are not on your chart you don't need to come here and type start typing now what you just need to do you just need to go through that stress once you need to go through that typing once once you've typed all the indicators like we typed you see all of them came up on our screen now what do we do we need to what group them so that anytime we need to assess them if they are not on our screen it is going to be very easy for us so let's go again let's type rsi now, what is RSI? Okay, so watch the just watch. Look at the left here. Remember the favorite the favorite buttons we did when we when we when we were you know looking looking at our tools. We have to favorite. Okay, so we can actually do this for indicators too. Just click on that favorite, so it, it it stays. It just stays. So next time you don't go, you don't have to come here to do what to start typing. So let's be quick. Let's start my D. And then favorite, and then let's start moving average. Moving average. Exponential. Yeah. Now we have favorite our indicators. So how can we now access them easily? So let's assume that all of this. Okay, before I clear this, let me just let's just quickly do something. So what you need to do is okay. Sorry for that distraction. So now let's go back to where we have our our indicator. Let's come back here. Okay. Now you see a button. A drop down at button by the runtime. You just click on it. Now look at all your indicators. Look at them here. So you can now watch, you can now select them. Okay, so aside from that, look again. You see a box just behind this. Your indicator. Look at this box. So this box stand in for as what as template. Okay. So instead of you coming here to select your indicators one after the other, you can just go here, you can just come to this indicators template. Okay, and just save it. So by the time you click it as one button, all of these guys will just appear you know, once. So now let's go there. Let's click on this box here. And then click, see, click, see here. Look at what's going on here. Save indicator template. Okay, just click on it. It comes out. So let me just say, I type Aculis, okay, indicator, okay. Okay, now watch. Take note of this guy. Take note of this guy. Remember symbol. Remember interval. Now, why I don't click these guys is because 
once you click on remember symbol it will only 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 remember your indicators only when you're on btc usdt chart okay and then it will remember the time frame remember i told you um i i i showed you guys look at look at here where i mark here the time frame that particular time at the point at which i, I was looking at the chart so on on so for now i'm looking at the daily chart of bitcoin okay so it is only when you're on the daily chart that when you click on this your indicator this this indicator template button they all come out but we don't want that we want them to be able to we want to be able to use them at all of the time frames even if it's one second whatever time frame one minute any of the time frame that we're in so we don't click we don't select this guy just go on clicking on what on save just save your indicator just save it Bam. so they are saved now let us come back here so let us just draw let's just draw lines i want to show you something let me just draw some lines remember i said when i want to draw lines plenty of lines and instead of me coming to come and pick to come and pick to come and pick i can just come here what i can click on what stay in drawing mode click on the horizontal line because i want to draw support and then draw and then draw you know and then draw so let's assume i'm done drawing this line so i come here or select the drawing mode and then click on what my cross air okay so i'm done drawing lines now so let me now say oh i want all of these indicators to disappear i just want my chart and my lines alone to remember to to be here okay i want them to, so remember when i said we would come here to this place okay and if you have to select that that place says what what is it saying hide all drawings so you click on the button just by the side let me click let me uh, remove this line click on this button by the side all right see so now i want to hide my indicators and leave my drawings see my indicators they are gone but my drawings are here okay or i want to hide my drawings uh sorry or i want to hide only my uh, my drawings and i want to leave my indicators so i click on what add i click on hide drawings and then my indicators are here or i want to remove everything i want to hide everything just click on hide or everything disappears okay now what's something you know when you hide you want a space so that you'll be able to see what's going on on the chart but we still have the indicator look at them we still have the ind indicator what indicator um pan here but it's still taking space okay so now take note of just take note of this indicator pan take a look up here look at this place look at where my cursor is we have some actually we have some good buttons here okay you can actually hide this pan this indicator box here you can hide it so when you when you click on this okay click on this look at this collapse pan maximize pan if you click on it it goes off you come here click on it it goes off so now so this now gives you what gives you enough space to be able to do what you want to do here okay so and by the time you're done you want your indicator span back you can just come back here and click what maximize indicator you can come back and click on restore come here click on restore now let's go back and on hide our indicators okay now okay we've come back to on hide our indicators <coughs> let's assume we want these two indicators to pop up here to this point I and mean, we want this chart to come down here to this point okay we have our reasons you know this is you playing around the chart okay we have our reasons so however you want the chart to look you know it's your choice so i'm just showing you how to play around so you can actually maximize that to you so what you do is you come here and then click on move move this pan down see i've moved it moved it pan down and then come here let me let me remove this our favorite stuff and then come here and then move this guy down see this guy has moved up if you want this guy to go down again see it has come down and these two indicators have come up so you just make use of all of these buttons here okay all these buttons here so let's assume you want to delete the indicators and all of these drawings you just want only price actions you just want to see only the charts remember you come to your delete button and then remove click on remove all the indicators 
or you want to remove the drawings alone, you want to leave the indicators, or you want to remove the indicators and you want to leave the drawings alone, depending on what choice. Okay, so if I want to remove all of them, I just click on remove drawings and three indicators, just remove them, and you have and you just you just have your charts, you know, you have a clean chart and no distortions and no distractions. Okay, so this is how you make use of your trading view. Okay, this is how you make good use of your trading view. All right, so I would I would hand over to my leader. This is the first part. We still have other details I'll be bringing you guys to, but I'll be handing over to my second, um, to my second, to my partner, Mr. Imani, to take over and then give us his own initiative on how this works. And then we take questions and then we leave, we leave for the next class so we can have the final and conclusion part of this trading game. So I hand over to my partner, Emmanuel. Thank you guys very much for this wonderful opportunity that you've given me tonight. Thank you so much. Well, um, that was a very wonderful section. Thank you very, very much. I would want to get in the chat box, I've gained a lot of value. If this class tonight I made a lot of impact in you, please, can I get in the chat box? I've learned a lot, value added, value added. So can, you've done a lot of um, noble job here. Thank you very, very much, uh, Mr. Newton. We appreciate all you do. Um, without wasting much of our time, this is almost 10 o'clock. We would like to, I'm not sure Emmanuel is on the call at the moment. So we would like to entertain qu questions. Please, if you have any questions, can you raise your hands? If you have any questions, can you raise your hands? If you have any question, please, can we have you raise your hands and ask your question? Wow, we don't have any question. It means that uh, our, our leader, uh, Newton, did a wonderful job. He's, he has done a good job that nobody has a question to ask. Okay. We have uh, two persons raising hands. So, uh, Mr. Agu, okay, Olufumi, Mr. Olufumi, can you raise your hands and ask your question? Sorry. Can you unmute yourself and ask your question? All right. Good uh, evening, everyone. I much appreciate this opportunity to learn on. We can't hear you, sir. We can't hear you. Mr. Olufim, are you still on the call? Okay, Mr. Keller, please, can you unmute yourself and ask a question before Mr. Olufim comes question. back? Okay, so thank you very much, Mr. N uh, Mr. Newton, for this wonderful presentation. So, we can hear you, sir. Are you talking? Am I the only one who can't hear him? Hello, C can everyone hear me? Your voice is a bit done. If you are using AirPod, I would suggest you disconnect from the AirPod. I'm not using any of those. That's strange. Please, can we hear him? Hello? Please, can I be heard? Is anyone able to hear Mr. Caleb? Oh. Hello? Yes, yes, I can hear you. Yes, okay. yes I can hear you. Okay, okay. Thank you very much, Mr. Newton, for this wonderful uh, presentation. <laughs> I, just uh, have, I, just, I just have a quick question. So, I, I want to know as, as, as a beginner on trading view, uh, is it the case that you have to do all these settings before you begin? Or I'm not sure we if others can hear you, sir. Please, I don't know if you would disconnect. Um, okay, you can hear him very well. Yes. Okay. Go ahead. So, so I was asking, 
Okay, so, so I was asking, I think um, Mr. Nuti has taught a lot. I believe the video will be available so we can recap. But I wish to know, for a beginner trying to learn technical analysis, is one supposed to go through all these steps or what are the core critical elements at least to be known to begin uh, learning technical analysis from, from a beginner perspective? Thank you. Okay. Um, the question you, the question is asking is uh, as a beginner you should should a beginner go through all of these steps I've highlighted tonight? Yes. Um, well, you know the thing is this is the first time. Perhaps you are you are you are actually seeing this, or perhaps you're going through this. It's going to really stick. It's going to stick. By the time you go through the video one or twice, and you start to you know you, you start to practice. Okay, it's it's going to stick. It's really not something, it's not difficult. It's, it is the first time, it looks cumbersome the first time, but it is not. By the time you begin to get used to um, the interface, you would, you would come to know that it's really not uh, a big deal. It's really not difficult. So as a beginner, yes, you need to go through all of the things I've shown you because, that, because you need to know, you need to, it's very, very important. And that's the reason why I went straight to the things you need. There, there are a lot of things that I, I skipped talking about because they're not important. But the basic core needs, like the things you need, in fact, not basic, for the major things you need is are the things that just are lighted. And I'm not true. You know, I think I still have some one or two things to show you and then we are done. But no, 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 don't worry. By the time we begin to we go proper into technical analysis and begin to make use of all of these things, you know, in, in the classes, you, you see that it becomes very easy and you know, it sticks. So no worries about that. You 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 come around as time goes by. Thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Mr. Thank you. Mr. Olufumi, can you unmute yourself and ask your question? Hello. Yeah. This question I want to ask uh, uh, concerns the indicators that are uh, trading. How many indicators can we have in the financial transaction? How many indicators can you do what? Please, can you drop your question at the chat box? I'm, I'm not sure anybody can hear you. Your network is very, very bad. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll repeat. Okay, I'll so uh, as we wait for his question, I've actually dropped uh, my YouTube channel in the chat box. So and the, the recorded version of this um, today's class will be uploaded um, within this week. So um, like he advised before you familiarize with some of these teachings and tools that we've learned this and that's how to use them, you need to make conscious effort to at least um, watch the video recorded version repeatedly. So by so doing, um, you try to practice. Someone suggested earlier, um, before before the uh, section began, that we can actually get a feedback where people can practice what they have been taught and share their own uh -oh. views about it. So I would recommend, as much as we have learned tonight, we should try to put it in practice. Uh, it would also show the, the teachers and the anchors that uh, values have been added and and used to so um okay where is the link i dropped so um i don't know if we have further questions mr Caleb is still raising his hands i think it was the hand he raised earlier hold on let me get the youtube link Okay, Mr. Um, Olufimi said, how many indicators? 
how many indicators can we have on the free version? Just three indicators. Three indicators. We are only limited to three indicators on the Mr. Keller said he still has another question. Please, for me to say, we can speak, Mr. Keller. Okay, let's give first us. Um, someone raised us. Let's give the person that has not asked before. Mr. Festus, let's take your question. All right. Good evening, uh, Crypto Queen and the entire crew. Good evening, sir. Uh, yeah, also, the, uh, the new team, thank you for the amazing delivery. This uh, very, so is a very great eye opener to me. Uh, everything I learned tonight, I am happy because trading view, I've not been using it. So tonight, my eyes are open. But I just want to ask that I wanted to go to the, uh, the, the chat again, but I'm looking at time to show me the button of, uh, you know, pro, uh, take profit and as that button to measure your TP and as a. That is the only question I have. I am happy tonight for knowing trading view properly. Uh, these things that you asked now, Mr. Festus, was he treated in the call? Yes. So, There's a boss, uh, the boss, the boss that uh, indicated the take profit and the uh, stop loss. You measured it okay. and it's there. Uh, yeah, the reason we we'll have, uh, sorry, the reason we we'll have recorded version is for you to be able to visit back the um, recorded version for where you couldn't pick. So, and we're looking at the time is it's almost yeah. um, it's, it's past okay. ten and it's, done, yeah. it's actually getting to late. So, I would be mm. able to share this recorded version during the week. So, right. please, and uh, I'm sorry about um, no. him not being no. able to go back. So no thank problem. You. I wait, for, I wait to, to watch it back. All right. Mr. Kelly, can you ask a question now? Okay, okay, thank you very much for the opportunity again. So I think it was about the indicators. I realized that for the free trading view, we can only use three indicators. Doesn't mean as, as a trader, uh, three indicators are enough to make a good technical analysis. Or does it mean at any point in time, we'll have to go for the premium version? Thank you. All right. Um, okay. First of all, by the time you're done learning um, technical analysis properly, now you determine, you, you'll be able to um, evaluate yourself if you would need to need to so even use those indicators in the first place. Um, for me, like me, for instance, I don't like using indicators on my chart, okay? And some other people like using indicators. So it all depends on your preference. But, um, but that would, you would actually uh, come to find out about that by the time you're properly done, your your dumb uh, learning uh, technical analysis properly, and uh -huh. so that that's when you now make that decision to yourself. Okay, I can actually use four indicators. I can use two. I can even use one. Most times I use one. You know, as confluence. You know, like to qualify my trades after other uh, requirements. So it all depends on individual's preference. So you get to know that by the time you you are fully grounded in you know, like into uh, technical analysis. So, in addition to what Sir Newton said, most times um, these indicators talk to each other. So, uh, for example, if you're using a MACD or moving average convergence divergence, or you are using RSI, some of, sometimes or most times, if MACD moving average is indicating or is is pointing a direction of downtrend if you go to any other indicator it will be telling you the same thing so most of these indicators you use it to confirm when you compare them in trade you will discover that they are all speaking the same direction at the moment so but uh, that's why it's it will be overwhelming 
when you turn all your indicators at the same time, for example, you are using KDJ, you are using RSI, you are using MACD, you are using MA. So when you turn all of these indicators at the same time, sometimes it can be confusing. So if you master anyone, when like like you said, when we enter a technical analysis lecture, if you master anyone that works for you, you can concentrate on that one. For example, I have never used KDJ. I don't, I don't actually use KDJ to um, analyze my trade. So because I feel like uh, it's, it's, it could be overwhelming using all of this indicator at the same time. So um, as we move on, you will get to know um, the one that works for you or the one that you would like to focus on. So at this moment, I want to believe that we don't have any other question. Once again, I want to appreciate our leader, Mr. Newton, for the wonderful class. And uh, I want to appreciate everyone who join today's class and those who are able to assess questions to, to the end of today's webinar. So like I said, I will be sharing uh, our, our uh, the recorded version during the week in the groups. So I've dropped also my YouTube channel. You can um, subscribe to my channel at least to encourage the little effort and uh, try as much as possible to be active in the group and uh, don't over trade. A little advice I'm going to give you, we, we have treated types of uh, traders, the, the different types of um, trading styles, have identified the one that works for you and stick to it. So most of the reason why people make mistakes or lose money in trade is because you jump from one trading style to another. Like I have told myself, I will remain a swing trader. So I'm not a day trader. So when I have a call, when I have a signal to trade, I know that I'm expecting this signal to take um, play out within within at least 72 hours. So within that period, I manage my risks very well. I'm not always monitoring the market like I don't have a life. All I know is that I enter the trade and I set my take profit. I, I leave the market. When it gets my take profit, it closes for me. So try not to over trade. One or two trades that they go is enough. So as we move on the class, I want to believe that the essence of this class is to help each and every one of us be able to generate signal yourself so if you've been following us through all this class, by the time we finish our section for the year, you should be able to generate signal for yourself because um, the values that we share here are not what you can get for free outside. So I want us to appreciate it um, as much as we can and, and make every do, uh, take advantage as much as we can. So thank you everyone once again. I wish us a very beautiful week. If you have further questions, you can ask in the group. If you don't, if you're not, in any of our group, um, you can reach out to me, reach out to Ali, uh, anyone, anybody that invited you to do Zoom, ask them for the group link, you will get it. So thank you everyone at this end, we'll bring this webinar to an end.